issue, we might have to speak with the government. But have you tried to speak with the government about it? Oh, yeah, when it comes to the review of the free senior high school, as they call it, all these things are issues that we have raised. As it's being called, uh, or as they uh, call it? As they call it. How do you call it? Called. Definitely. <laughs> it's free in quotes. Okay. <laughs> all right. So you've addressed it and nothing has been done about it? Oh, we are, we are, that everybody is calling for the review of the free senior houses so that we'll look at all these bottlenecks because we definitely know the reason why these students are even being fed. <laughs> and we know why a lot of the children are now these students. Well, they, they are, they are, they are, they are these students. And it is very heartbreaking when school closes and you see them especially when you are driving from Musu through to Tema. You see a lot of these senior high school children standing by the roadside, stopping and begging people to pick them in their trucks. Sometimes there's a three-wheel motorcycles, and they sit at the back, and it's very disheartening. But I think it is something that uh, all stakeholders will have to look at. It is a, an issue on its own. So you let's talk about the the school feeding. school feeding. I was going to ask you, you know, if this had to do anything with the school feeding. Probably there's a correlation somewhere that I don't know about. Definitely there will be a correlation. You know, if you look at the aim of the school feeding program, it is supposed to increase school enrollment and then make sure attendance and retention are enhanced. And also to look at more nutrition. And I think they have some long-term goals to reduce poverty and hunger and all that. But let us look at it critically. If you are paying 97 pesos, they are saying it is one city, but tax is deducted. So they are left with 97 pesos. And then you have, and then the children are being given one ladle of, let's say, beans and gari. And then you tell me this is reducing hunger. And it is enhancing food nutrition. I think uh, we are deceiving ourselves at the end of the day. You see, we have to really look at the whole policy of uh, the school feeding program. We have to really look at it again. What's there that? is a particular group of people that we can look at and ensure that the program really do what it intends to do. You come to the metropolitan area, look at, let's look at a place like a Tema Metropolitan. Are you telling me a parent will send the child to school and then that parent will be unable to feed that child, so the child will be given one ladle of beans or one ladle of rice with some soup or gari you, you don't see any fish or meat. They don't eat anything like egg. And then you are telling me you are reducing hunger. And then you are also reducing malnutrition. I think uh, it is a deception. And we have to really look at the whole program again. Is it the whole of Tema? We, 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 can, we can actually, you see, the thing here is that is that's a struggle for you to tell who needs it and who doesn't need it. Because like you say, you're using Tema, yeah, so some, but so there some are some people, people in it Tema and some who, don't need it. Okay. But how do you identify those people? Some people need it and some don't need it. They can identify them, the community itself. When you go into the community, you look at, you study the community. We have some communities that are deprived. Teacher unions have taken it upon themselves with Ghana Education Service. We've gone around, we have looked at communities that are deprived, and if they want that document, it is with the committee. The committee is here to present it to Ghana Education Service, but that document is there, that you know that this community is, is really deprived. So let us channel the school feeding program to this community. Definitely, if they know they will get food to eat, they will come to school. You cannot tell me a child in Tema or a parent in Tema will not take the child to school. So at the end of the day, you need to feed the child with one ladle of rice, and that will make that parent to bring that child to school, to increase enrollment. 
Let's go and study the situation. We realize that no enrollment have been increased in a place like Tema or Takradi because of school feeding program. And there's nothing like um, increase in food nutrition or whatever. So let us target the group that we, we need to target. Let us increase the amount and let us stop this deception of paying 97 pesos to be used to feed a child in school and go and look at the kind of food that they are eating when they realize as we that increase they, the amount how much are we increasing it to it should go to at least five cities right it will do okay but at the end of the day when they realize that the supervisors are coming then they will add some egg and then increase the amount of food that they are going to give the children and the supervisors will come. look at what you are showing on tv look at the amount of food they've given to that small child you look at this bank very heavy with egg because they knew the supervisors were coming but this is not the kind of food they give to the children 